Joseph up on your feet. Let's get it on. Lift Joseph up on your feet. Let's get it on. What up, y'all? Welcome back to the Carpenter's Apprentice. We're here with a very, very talented young person. Miss, would you introduce yourself and tell the folks what you do? Sure. Uh, I'm Kai Ramey. Uh, pretty much, I'm the curator for uh, NWA Zine, aka No Whites Allowed Zine. Um, yeah. My- Ooh, why the why the title? <laughs> um, basically, it's a zine curated specifically for and by uh, queer black people. Um, now we're accepting all queer people of color. So, yeah. Um, well, that's fantastic. What made you want to do something like this? Um, pretty much a lack of representation of queer artists, uh, especially queer black artists. Um, and whenever, uh, what am I saying? Uh, after living here for a few years in San Antonio, I realized that I couldn't find like the queer black community as much. And so um, I wanted to reach out to them, hopefully inspire others or find more queer black people and what made you pick uh they're called zines or zines zines okay what made you pick zines as your uh, uh, uh me- medium um i saw all these other inspiring zines here like saint susia um and- hey shout out to isabel castro <laughs> yes and uh chief lada zine as well and so i saw those and it made me want to also create something have them. you linked up with them Yes, uh, a couple times. We've been at the same events and stuff, so. What is it like to be around other people who are, like, doing something in another lane but similar to what you're doing? Um, It's really cool. It's very inspiring. Um, They inspired me to create, and I still kind of get inspired by some of the things that they do, so. And for you, what inspires you on a day-to-day basis when you're making these things? Um, Just queerness and blackness and trying to... um, inspire younger folks um, who maybe feel othered and inspire them to create and just to be themselves as well. Have you ever got pushback from white folks about the title? Um, At the beginning, yes. Whenever we first started um, the zine um, before the release party, um, we got a bunch of people on Facebook who were hassling us and stuff, um, saying that we were racist, and, um, but nobody showed up to the actual zine release to harass us or anything. So, Well, that's fantastic. <laughs> what makes you keep going even in spite of that kind of criticism? Um, because I know that the only reason why they have that criticism is because um, they haven't had like the black experience. They don't know what it's like to be black, and so they feel excluded whenever we have our own spaces. So it doesn't make me feel bad. It makes me feel happy that they're actually thinking about these things in a more critical manner, even if it makes them angry. So Let me ask you a question. In in these days of uh, political turmoil, and I try not to ever talk about politics or especially the current state of it, but the one thing I will say is that it seems quite fractured. Do you have any clues as to how we can heal the divide? Um, hmm. I would say that um, all of us need to have more compassion for one another, first of all, um, and through collective action to doing the things that we, um, like for equality or whatever, through collective action, we can achieve that. Um, but it requires responsibility and work from everyone, um, not just people of color. So, yeah. I agree with that. I like the way you think. Yeah. Is there? A, how can folks get a hold of you or learn more about what you're doing here? Uh, we have an uh, uh, Instagram. So our Instagram is NWA Zine um, on Instagram. We also have a big cartel, which is um, No Whites Allowed Zine dot Big Cartel. So. Okay. And is there anything you'd like to tell the folks, especially people who would want to do something creative and artistic like you're doing? Um, look at your local scene. See what they're doing. Uh, maybe link up with them and Skillshare. Yeah, I like that. All right, (laughs) folks, we're out here still right outside the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center. We're having a damn good time. But as for right now, we'll see you next one.